Let's imagine that there is a spectrum of frequency frequencies that humans at this consciousness level can embody. And let's imagine that spectrum is from zero to 100 of frequencies, okay? Now, most people believe that they are like a point on that. So meaning that their frequency is like 14 or 12 or 35, but it's not. We're actually a frequency bandwidth, meaning from 10 to 20 on that spectrum mm -hmm. of zero to 100. We're a range of the larger spectrum. That's correct. Okay. And where you fall, so meaning that that uh, frequency bandwidth, how you're feeling or what you're doing will influence where you fall within that frequency bandwidth. So let's imagine you're from 20, 10 to 20, mm -hmm. okay? And in order to for you to be resonating at that 20, chances are something is going to be going really well in your life. So meaning you've slept well, you're eating well, work is not stressful, relationships are feeling good, you feel like you have momentum, you're, you're feeling good. Mm -hmm. You're now resonating at the higher end of the frequency bandwidth that is you at 20. Now let's imagine that instead that you've had like a really crappy week. You haven't slept very well, you're eating poorly, you are cranky, stressed out, things are tight or are like just like crunchy with the people around you. Okay, now you're vibrating more at the 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're still within the frequency bandwidth that's you, you're just on the lower end of that spectrum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff with personal development is what helps you stay on that higher, because it manages your state, yes. right? Within how you fall within that, that bandwidth. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to move that bandwidth up, right? That's the whole amazingness of frequency work because as a natural consequence of releasing your distortion patterns, which are the things that pull you down in frequency resonance, your frequency bandwidth will rise. Mm. So instead of being 10 to 20, it'll be you know, 20 to 30 and then so on, depending on how far you'd like to go. Okay. Yeah. So some people might be wondering, are you born with a certain mm -hmm. bandwidth range mm -hmm. and that obviously you can change it through frequency work, but are you kind of just have this set range, like I might have a set different than yours yeah. just automatically? Totally, yeah. yeah. So we are born into this bandwidth. It is determined a lot by your lineage. It's also determined in some to some degree by how high your frequency bandwidth got in other lifetimes. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. because that starts to influence this lifetime. And we'll talk about, um, we, a lot of people use the word past lifetime. I call them alternate lifetimes. We'll talk about time at a different time. <laughs> However, um, that also will influence the frequency bandwidth that you inhabit in this lifetime, like what you come in at. So it may be that you are born at like zero to 10 because your lineage has been a certain way or the cultural distortion patterns are there, or religious distortion patterns, whatever. So you're born within a certain, yes, absolutely, but within a certain frequency bandwidth. Um, there are things in your life that you will encounter that um, will give you the opportunity to rise in your frequency bandwidth. 